Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into XLP once again. Thank you for support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. So, I think if we take a look at the weekly time frame here, you're getting a little bit of extended from the EMAs. Okay, and then any time you do start to get extended from the EMAs, I do tell you to tread with caution. Basically, you know, and, and you know, think about your position. If you're shorting or longing, it works in any direction. If you get overextended, you know, think about your position. Just there, you was really overextended. Just there, really overextended as well. And you do tend to come back for support. And the same, if you're losing support, you do tend to come back for resistance before you know retesting that resistance for continuation or retesting that support for continuation and you can see in, in each instance here when you did get really overextended you actually lost support there okay you lost support there and you've lost support there so you know is it a case that we've got really overextended here and we're going to lose resistance and break resistance and start to come up i wouldn't necessarily envision it immediately okay because what i would like to see at the end of this correction is some kind of bottom okay we've got one just here when we start to come down we've got this capitulation in 2020 you know we've got this lovely v-shaped recovery into the the 20 year major just there we came back in a higher low and then we broke out and you can see that in itself is some kind of beautiful ascending triangle you broke resistance came back to support confirmed the support and then you broke out okay and you got that 1618 target which was met just there and then when you met the 1618 target which i gave everybody well i didn't give everybody because i wasn't making videos then you give it to family and friends but you can see they came back in a retracement to this low okay now this retracement that the, the xrp went through here was horrible it was heinous but you simply retraced okay you was retracing to an impulsive break okay so from there to there you can see you found support on a 702 and you wicked off a 786 at 017 okay so let's take a look at this retracement that you're going through right now for xrp so that's your high uh let's get that knob on let me move that actually because is that the high yep just there so let's get this knob on for you so we can look at this levels right now so you're going to for a retracement back down to this low that you put in december 2020 because it's impulsive corrective impulsive and right now it's a corrective move to this low it will no longer be corrective it'll be considered something called a reversal wave because this is a retracement okay coming back down to this low if you start to lose this low this is considered a reversal wave basically an impulsive move to the downside and these would be your minimal targets so like i said to you this is a really 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 strong level of support right now this one fib at 01733 round about there okay for xrp because at the minute xrp is retracing to that and at the moment you can see that you've bounced off the 702 fib okay at 035 and the 706 786 sorry is at 029 which is where this retracement to this low actually came to the 786 and you can see it wicked down to there it didn't hang around before coming back up okay so you know i wish i could tell you conclusively that xlp is simply going to retrace and start to do this and break out okay that's what we all want obviously now it is on the cards it is still there the possibility is still there obviously to, to sort of wick down come up and coil up and break out okay that would be amazing you know and, and i would love to see that and i think that the entire xrp, XRP community community would like to see that as well but there's always the possibility you know that the, the, the xrp is retracing comes back really deep and creates a reversal wave okay and you can see that if you do start to lose a one fib at any point your minimal target will be the 1272 which equally loses this low and that could be really really negative for xrp but there is a saying okay there is a saying bulls make money bears make money pigs get slaughtered for me at the moment what you what you've got is overextension from the emas the 20 ema so what i'm looking for is a retest of this 20 ema at some point to come in for xrp okay and, and that will give the game away you know if you hit that and start to coil up here and do something like this that's actually quite bullish because you're holding this ascending level of support and you've got this descending level of resistance sorry and you can see that you're coiling up in this apex just here for xrp and at this point whenever you break this green trend line it could be extremely explosive okay so where's the end of this apex the end of this apex is january 2023 which is next year okay so at the minute you're retracing you've got the 786 support at 029 so if it gets nasty over the next week or so you could get a wick grab off that come back up like that and then do that okay so i've got a long on buy bit at the minute because i do think you're overextended okay my, my stop loss is obviously on the 702 fib where you've wicked off and if you do start to come up fantastic but if you do start to roll okay my next level of support will be that and i'm going to get stopped out of my trade basically so i'll be looking to long that position if i get stopped out basically now if i move to the left i can show you uh, where this happened before um you know we got really close to this apex got really boring really flat really annoying and you got really close to the apex and what happened when you got really close you had a bit of a fake out before you broke out as well to be honest with you and then you exploded so i'm not saying you're going to get that kind of breakout again but who knows this is crypto it's very volatile anything can happen 
uh, but that's something that I'm looking at. So I'll always keep you updated as best as I can. But in a minute, what you're doing, you broke up impulsively, correctively, impulsively, and this is a correction back down to this low, okay? So you're retracing to this low. Feels horrible, feels nasty, but you are currently retracing on a macro time frame here, you know, and these are your key levels of support. If you ever you see uh, XRP losing the one fib at 017 or even losing the 786 fib at 029 and starts to stay down and it hits its head. That is quite nasty. It's quite a nasty correction. It could indicate a reversal wave and your minimal target would be the 1272 fib down there, okay? So that's basically XRP. Hope you enjoyed that little update and thank you for your support, okay? I'm, back, I'm on holiday at the moment. I'm back next week, so I'll try and get more regular videos out for you. Take care, everyone. Back soon with another update on XRP. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay tuned. Bye-bye.